Greetings and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Storytime with Dr. Helen Tinsley. I am happy to be back here with you today for Storytime. On Sunday, my video malfunctioned. I tried to do it outside and my Wi-Fi kept going out. And yesterday, um, I didn't do story time on Memorial Day. So we're back today for story time, and we will continue with stories from the anthology, The People Could Fly. And so I'm happy to be here with you again today to share stories. It's a beautiful day, and we were all blessed to wake up to see it. So let's begin. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. In the stories that I read every day. So this is another story from the collection, The People Could Fly, American Black Folk Tales by Virginia Hamilton. And I read this story Sunday and it got cut off, so I'll share it again. Again, these stories have very, very few pictures, so put on your thinking caps and let the words of the story form images in your mind. Tapping the learn Land Turtle. Once upon a time, there were land children and tree children. And there was the land turtle, he called himself Tappin. Tappin has six children, they all hungry. Everybody hungry all on the land, for it was famine time. There was the eagle up there hiding in a cloud. He on his way across the ocean. He go for the palm oil and the seed to feed his tree chilling. Tapping to see what the eagle do, and he say, hold on there. It be hard times. Where you come by all this and that to feed your tree children? I got six of my own. Show me where you get your food. Eagle says, I have to fly across the ocean to get this and that. Tappin, he said, you give me some of them wings you got and I'll travel with you. Eagle, he said, all right, when you want to go? Tappin tell him the first crop crow tomorrow morning. So first crop crow, the first crop crow come, go and come. But Tappin, he not wait for it. It be three o'clock and Tappin go over to Eagle's house saying, cuckoo, cuckoo. Eagle tell him, you going back home. Lay you down. It ain't day yet. But Tappin kept it up. Cuckoo, cuckoo. So Eagle gets on up. Say, what you want now? Tappin tell him, put me three feathers on this side and three on the other side. So the Eagle, he pull out the feathers for Tappin. He put three on one side of Tappin's shell and three on the other. Now Eagle say, let me see you fly. So Tappin, he right off starting to fly. One of the feathers fell off him. That be all right, he says. I got me some more wings. Let's be on our way. So Eagle and Tappan flew when they flew. But over the ocean, all of Tappan's eagle feathers fell or fall off. Tappan commenced falling in the water. He falling fast when Eagle go catch him and put him under his wing. Woo! Tappan say, it do smell foul under here. Eagle let him drop in the ocean. Tap and fall down and down underwater, way down to the underworld. The king down there, king of the underworld, meet up with Tappan. He say, why are you here? What you doing here? Tappan tell him, king, we have terrible time on the earth. We can't get nothing to eat. I got six land children and I can't find food for them. The eagle, he got but three children and he can fly across the ocean and get all the food he want. So would you please give me something to feed my children? King tell him, all right, all right. He give Tappan a dipper, long handle cup. He tell Tappan, take this, and when you want food for your children, say this. Back on Kole, back on Corby, back on Kahuda, Lebi, Lebi. So Tappan, he come home the dipper and he go to the children. Come on, he say to them. When they all come on here, he say this. Back on Kole, back on Corby, back on Kahuda, Lebi, Lebi. There is everything in the dipper. There's gravy, biscuit, and meat. The children have plenty to eat now. So Tappan, he said to himself, I'll sell this dipper to my own king. So he showed the dipper to his own king, and he say, Back on Coley, back on Corby, back on Kahubi, Lebi, Lebi. Then the food came out the dipper. 
they get everything to eat. So the king go and call all the people and everybody eat from the dipper. They ate and they ate the meat, the fruit, everything. Tappan think he think he take the dipper back home, so he do. Come on, children, Tappan say. He's trying to feed them, but nothing coming from the dipper. Nothing. So when the dipper is out, it's out. Tap and say, all right, I'll go to the king of the underworld and have him fix this dipper up. He go way down to the underworld and he say to the king there, king, what is the matter? I can't feed the land children no more. King say, you take this cow hide and when you want something, you say, she now, in jacko, now quacko. So tap and he does it, but that cow hide start to beat the land children. It say, drop, drop. Some children are dead. Some is only sick, but they all drop down. Tap and he say, I'll call the underworld king up here. He calls the king and all the people, and he has himself a cover made to fit him before he have the cowhide to beat. He make cover of sand and some lime to cover him good. Then he say, she don't now, then jacko and quacko. The cowhide beat and beat. It beat everybody. It beat the king too. It beat, beat, beat right through the cover over Tappan. Tappan, the turtle, has beat signs all on his back, while Tappan's shell has marks on it all over to this day. And that's why you never find a Tappan, a turtle, in a clean place. You look and you see him under some leaves or on a log lying there. That's Tappan the turtle marked with beat marks all on his shell. A little background on this story. This tale was first, first told by Cujo Lewis of Plateau, Alabama, and recorded in heavy dialect. He was brought to America on a slave ship from the west coast of Africa in 1859. It was a custom among some of the African peoples to name a child after the day on which he or she was born. Cujo means Monday. Tappan is a dialect word for terrapin, an American dry land turtle. There were African animal prototypes such as the jackal, the hare, and the tortoise for the American black folk tales. The jackal survived in the tales as the fox, the hare survived as the rabbit, and the tortoise survived as the dry land turtle or terrapin. This tale includes examples of African words and verbs that were meant to make magic. Their meaning, unfortunately, is lost to us. And that's the story of tapping the land turtle. What I wanted to add they said the story was first told by Cujo Lewis of Plateau, Alabama. He is the last known survivor of the last slave ship that landed in this country in a town in Alabama they called Africa Town. And Zora Neale Hurston's last book, Barracoon, details his life story. So if you haven't read it, read it. It's a painful read, but it's an important part of our history. So I hope you enjoyed the story. From the People Could Fly, be well. Hi, Cousin Latasha. And hi to your little daughter, too. And to everybody else watching. And I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Peace.